Hello, all my Virgo friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. I am here to do your weekly read for um, March 6th through the 13th. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you, um, this will not resonate with everybody, so just take what you want and leave what you don't. Um, and as always, this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, I was just shuffling my cards before the video and um, just so to clear it, clear the cards and uh, give it some good shuffle and the hair front fell out three times so I figured that um, this was meant to be your card Virgo so let's get started spirit and angels what messages do you have for Virgos? Okay. Bottom of the deck card is uh, Two of Cups. Soulmates. Um, for this group of you, I feel that you are separated currently right now from your soulmate, your twin flame. Um, however, it resonates with you. Um, okay. Let me just take a minute here with the cards and get the messages. Whoa, sorry about that. Get the messages as you guys are intended to hear them. Okay, so for this group of you Virgos, um, you are in a committed relationship currently. Could be married, could be um, just in a committed relationship where you live with them or exclusively dating. Um, <clears throat> but for the majority of the, you, this is uh, a marriage that you are in, could possibly be with a Taurus, does not have to be, um, but definitely in a committed relationship, and your challenge is uh, deciding whether to stay or go. Um, you do have the world and the tower in reverse, so you're trying to keep things from ending, you're trying to keep things from changing, um, even though uh, you don't feel emotionally satisfied by this person. Uh, yeah, you're just not wanting to let things end because in your uh, recent past, you have the world in reverse. Why is the world here in reverse for Virgo? So you're not letting, um, you're not letting things, these cycles end. You're, you're just going in the same circle. Um, Yeah, you, there's uh, a third party energy here. So um, you're not leaving this uh, committed relationship you're with, even though you um, have somebody on the side that you are wanting to be with. And that's what your choice is, whether to stay or whether to go. But you're staying because you got this world in reverse. You're holding on to something that is no longer satisfying to you. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, look at this. We have the exact same cards as here. We have the Tower, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Empress. You have the Empress here, the Two of Swords here, and the Tower here. Um, why is this Nine of Cups here? Um, for your future uh, card, you are getting you know your prayers answered. Your wishes come true, um, but you got to let this tower fall first. It's already in the works. You planted the seed, so it is coming down. So you are going to um, get out of this feeling of feeling stuck. You're praying for answers, and their answers <clears throat> will come to you and allow you to move towards the person that emotionally fulfills you. Why is this tower here in reverse? of Pentacles. So you're staying, Eight of Pentacles, you're staying for financial reasons. You are scared to uh, leave this relationship that you are currently in, um, this marriage, this uh, exclusive relationship. You are trying to keep it from end because you are scared of your financial situation. 
you are staying in this relationship for uh, money and not love. And that's why your Queen of Cups is in reverse. But in the future, you are going to get out of this feeling of feeling stuck where you're at and be able to move towards the person that you are, um, that you love. Uh, Spirit just told me to look at the bottom of the deck. Could be a fire sign, Sagittarius especially, but does not have to be. That's just for some of you. You're very uh, defensive towards this person. This could be the mother of your children if you are a male. If you are a female Virgo, um, this is you um, being standoffish and uh, defensive towards your whoever you are connected to. Um, Communication is going to come into you very fast, and it's from spirit. You are going to get a download, and it's going to give you the um, courage to move forward and get out of this stuck feeling. Um, yeah, because right now you just you don't know what to do. You're in that five of cup energy. Um, you're not looking at your soulmate who is behind you, and you're blocking your shifts from coming in. You're cold and distant and emotionless. Look at this. You are not. Neither one of you are emotionally happy. So why are you staying? And the three of cups. So you know you're both unhappy. There's third parties. Could be on both. From both people actually but definitely from you Virgo um, you're both emotionally unsatisfied there's a third party you're not you're blocking your ships from coming in you're depressed because you're separated from the soulmate but you feel stuck because of finances but the time is now to make a decision spirit says because even though the tower is in reverse it's still coming the universe is just going to have to step in and it's not going to be on your terms anymore because the tower is here in the upright and choices are being made regarding your uh, partner and children or if you are the woman um, you're making a decision to leave with your children because this burden is getting too much it's getting to be too much I see you carrying it out though through this week um, I don't see you going anywhere this week but the universe is going to bring you in communication and it's gonna allow you to get unstuck and head towards your queen and you're going to pick a path. You are going to be led down a path by the universe of where you're meant to be. Any other cards for Virgo for the week of the 6th through the 13th? Okay. Yeah, so you are codependent on this person for finances. Um, so, yeah could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus. Like I said, the signs aren't that important because this is a general reading, but they are, in, they are um, encompassing those, uh, those energies. Your bottom of the deck right now is the King of Swords. You're very cold and distant from this person anyways. Um, look at that. I just shuffled how many times and the King of Pentacles came out on the bottom again. That's you, Virgo. It's time to step up and make big choices. Decide what you want this week. Oops. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Virgo for this week? The 6th through the 13th of March, 2018. I've been saying um, for a couple months now that March is going to be a big month for the collective. And it's time to make big choices because divine timing is here. And if you, you have to decide what you want because it's going to pass you by otherwise. And you're going to have to wait around until divine timing is here once more. But Spirit is saying the time is now. It's divine timing now. So open your communication lines of communication up um, and uh, decide what it is you want. Make it well known to the universe what it is you want. Um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. For sure. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And release your ex. It's, time has come to clear your energy. That is what the Two of Swords is about. Are you going to stay with your current partner or are you going to move towards your soulmate? Choices are being made within this week or um, by the end of March. Time is fluid in the spiritual realm. So um, this could be give or take a week. But the energies are here for sure. 
you need to make a choice. Are you going to go after love and be successful in love and money by facing your fears? Or are you going to stay with your ex and or your current partner and, uh, and feel stuck? So that's all I got for you guys, Virgo. I hope you have a beautiful week. The time is now. Um, Spirit is saying to go for it that this is your destiny this is what is meant to happen so uh take your lessons and um and move forward in a positive direction and allow this tower to come down because that tower was not meant for you to stay in forever it's time to move on to what you are destined for so um virgo i wish you well and i will see you next time as always I'm sending you love and light and God bless.